We posted a video a couple of weeks ago um, that was taken during a workshop that I was running, a little bit about how to work with hyperextension and the risks of pushing back into a stretch. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a cleaner video because a lot of people asked a lot of questions about that. So again, looking at the anatomy first, we need to be very, very careful around the knee. If we're pushing into hyperextension, the risk with this is that there's a little fat pad that sits in under here. Um, and it's designed so that when we are on our knees, there's a little bit of cushioning. We're not just grinding away on the bone. But if we sit in hyperextension, either in standing, or if we're pushing into it, trying to get more mobility, that can actually get pinched kind of into the capsule and in around the knee joint. And often this gives um, some low grade pain around the front of the knee that can be really hard to settle. So a lot of people think that it's a problem with their alignment, but sometimes it's just that they're sinking into their hyperextension too much, or if you don't have hyperextension, if you've been trying to push into it more. So I wanted to show you what we were describing in a little bit more detail. So if we look at the knee, a lot of people focus on pushing the knee back and pulling the foot up. A, a lot of people feel this into their calf and it's more of a nerve stretch. So you don't want to do that. Nerves don't like being overstretched. So you want to be very, very careful about not pulling back into this position. Also, I don't really recommend pushing down on the knee. This will change the firing of everything around the knee as well. And it can cause a lot of loading down into the base of the knee. If you do have a hyperextended knee, if you're constantly working into that and trying to strengthen up through here, it's not actually a very safe position to dance in. So what I recommend is slowly straightening into your range, then lowering the heel till it's just off the ground. So about one to two centimeters around there. Now, when you first start doing this, your leg will shake. It'll be really hard to control and then you release it. So you straighten into range, slowly release and then just hover it at that level. You want to get a feeling of lengthening out the back of your hip bone and through your heel. Yeah, So you've got a lengthening feeling through the leg rather than a smash my knees back kind of feeling. Yeah? Once you've developed that, then we want to include it in to make it a little bit more functional. What I often find is that when people point their ankle and point their foot, they start softening the knee because they're trying to get a little bit more range. So I like coupling these two exercises together. So you want to think of lengthening the leg, lower it just to hover, then pointing through the demi-point position, lengthening the toes whilst keeping lengthened through the knee, peeling back through the foot, and then peeling back through the ankle, keeping that heel hovering rather than jacking it up into hyperextension. And it is much harder than it looks. So you want to think of lengthening the entire leg, point through the demi point, keeping the heel hovering, point the toes long, release the toes, release the heel, and then relax. And this is a much safer way to build your endurance around your knee in the position that you really want to be holding it in when you're standing. Another question that often comes around hyperextension is whether we should stand with the heels apart or whether we should make dancers stand with the heels together. So I usually say up to about an inch is okay. If you're doing anything more than that, it's a little gratuitous. If you have very hyperextended knees though, having your heels together, you'll feel like you don't have enough space. In truth, we don't spend that long in first position when we're dancing, we're usually passing through, but I really focus on teaching dancers to lift up out of their leg rather than sinking back into it. Misty Copeland does a fabulous demonstration of this in one of her videos, and so I recommend you take a look at her ability to control a very hyperextended leg into a straight line or just very slightly extended, which results in a far safer knee long term.